So even though I'm really busy on my way out, I thought I'd do this quickly because I need to let people know that I have just heard today that um, there's been some data come in and uh, where we live in Biggin Hill, due to obviously being surrounded by the farmland and uh, the countryside, the air quality, it hasn't changed. They, they, it's been shown that our air quality is good. It hasn't changed. So they're gonna be removing Biggin Hill from the ULES. So currently where I'm driving right now, is gonna be no longer under ULES. That's at the latest. So expecting that to come out soon. Now I'm going to ask how many of you believed what I just said because I would hazard a guess that many of you would probably question it and go oh where's this data come from oh why is Biggin Hill being taken out of the ULES because it, it does actually come under Greater London but how many of you actually was believing what I was telling you and that is my point if you have enough money and enough power and you can buy the mainstream media. You can tell them whatever you want. It will be printed. It will be on the news. And it's fact. Fact. No questions. Because if it's on mainstream media, oh, they, they must be telling us the truth. Oh, be, you know, because it's the news. You can say whatever you want on social media. You can, you can share newspaper reports. You can share research and it will be taken at gospel. Yes, you're always gonna get some people that are gonna question it, but that all depends on what the narrative is and what mainstream are telling you. So I, I can say whatever I want. And there's plenty of people that will believe exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly the same for our government and for our mayor of London. All he's got to do is turn around and say, oh, the in-house report says that ULES, since ULES has been introduced, the air quality is far better. Send that off to mainstream media, the newspapers, the news. They'll print it. They'll say it. Oh, and everyone will believe it because it has to be true. You can even go and write yourself a report. I can go and write myself a report now. I can go and do some air quality um, and readings like many people have around here that has proved over and over again with video evidence that the air quality has not improved. The air quality is essentially good in all the outer boroughs. Um, and and that, that's fact, that's fact. But if the mainstream media tell you otherwise, then they have to be telling the truth. I think we've learned by now, they don't tell us the truth. We know they've lied to us. We know they continue to lie. So how do we decide what is truth and what is fiction? How do we decide that this in-house report on the air quality that proves that ULES is working, how do we know that's truth? How do we know that's fact? How do we know that when this data actually comes out, it hasn't been doctored? What, well, because the mainstream media tell us? All I'm saying is, the point is, question it. Question it, because we know we're being lied to. Um, I think it's very, very convenient that right now, all of a sudden, it was, you know, this data was supposed to come out after six months. It didn't. People have been very, very quiet about it. No one's been saying, where's the, where's the data? Where's this report? It's been another few months down the line. People have now suddenly started questioning it. Then it gets announced it's going to get uh, released in August. And then all of a sudden, uh, a couple of days ago, oh, in-house data. His own in-house data proves that the ULES is working and that the air quality is better. Says who? Say, from where? His, his own data. That's all I'm going to say. His own data. He could say whatever he wants. I'm going to turn around and say, well, Biggin Hill's not in ULES anymore, you know? Our air quality, I can prove that our air quality is good. But, you know, so just keep questioning this stuff because we know they've lied. We know they continue to lie. Um, I wouldn't believe in anything about this. What I would be questioning is if they announced um, a week ago that it wasn't coming out till August, why has it suddenly come out now? What is that a distraction for? What, what else is going on right now? that they don't want us to know about that probably wouldn't be in their favor so now they want to distract us with this uh, in-house report so maybe start looking in other places and and actually questioning what is actually really really going on so uh, yeah interesting